morning students so today uh, we are going to discuss about the solids which is inclined to both the planes so let us start the axis inclination to the both the planes that is horizontal plane and the vertical plane excuse me right now let us go back to sir and previously in the previous video might be observed that the square prism is inclined to the horizontal plane with theta degrees this is our solution so in the same case so when it is inclined to the horizontal plane first of all we have to take that axis of this uh, square prism should be parallel to both the planes so now these two axes are parallel to both the planes then this is the first assumption condition and next going to the second one that is inclination with the horizontal plane axis inclination to the horizontal plane such that we have to draw the axis inclined to the horizontal plane and simply shift whatever the picture it is there so that is the front view so the front view is going to draw exactly with the inclination of theta degrees whatever it is that it is maybe maybe 30 40 45 whatever it is right and after drawing the front view similar front view here just to simply project all the four corners of the front view so like this okay you project all this right after projecting the lines so when you are looking from the top of this one when you are looking from the top of this object <coughs> then what are the corners that you observe what are the corners that you observe so when you are seeing from the top you can observe this point 1 and 4 dash here 2 dash and 3 dash and here 3 dash and c dash are going to be observed when you are seeing from the top view and which one is the hidden points so here a and b are the hidden points now if i am projecting projecting all these points from the front view and also i am projecting the top view like this after projecting the top view so i will get the breadth here and i will get the length of the object at total here right now 1 and 4 is visible so that i have drawn dark here so 1 and 1 matches here so i put 1 and 4 and 4 matches here i put 4 here next 2 and 3 2 and 3 so 2 and 3 next coming to this point bc right so i will extend this one b is coincide with point this point and b c dash and c is coincide here so now i will make this one dark complete picture so 1 4 2 3 and bc sides are visible so that i will make it dark and which one is invisible a and b is invisible so a and b is invisible so that i have drawn the black dotted line because the hidden points or hidden lines are going to be shown in terms of dotted line so i have drawn a dotted line and i specify the axis point of this base is that in the middle and the top point in the middle top surface in the middle point and i have drawn an axis so if you see the axis in this particular view and in this particular view so what can you observe here in these conditions this axis is inclined to the horizontal plane and here the axis is parallel to the xy because it is parallel to xy right so now the condition is axis inclined to the horizontal plane and axis parallel to the vertical plane this is a single step and when we go for the axis inclination to the vertical plane also so this is the further step what we are doing now right so when the axis is inclined so now let us say this is an axis i will make an axis inclination with this point so now simply i draw an axis line here <coughs> so this is an axis line and now i am going to shift the total picture total picture here okay 
the total picture, I am going to shift it here. As in case where we have shifted this picture to the inclination of the horizontal plane, the same picture that is the top view that appeared in the second point or second step. So that picture on the top view is going to be shifted with the inclination. So how we have to make this inclination? So I know 1 and 4, 1 and 4 is perpendicular to the axis, is it is here. So now I put a point here and I will draw a line 1 and 4. This is 1 and 4. Let me take this is 1 and this is 4. And I know the length of 4D. I will calculate here, I will see the length with the normal scale. What is the length between 4 and D? So otherwise say 4 and C. 4 and C. So what about the length of the 4 and C is there? I will draw it here. The same thing I will draw here also. Okay, then next I will make this. So this is B and this is C. Okay, so 1, B, 4, C. So this is 1, B, 4, C. And in between these, 1, B, A and 2 are there. So I will locate point A. So here point A and I locate point 2 here. So I will draw a perpendicular line to the axis from these particular points. Okay. <coughs> then this one will be D and this one will be 3. As I have done a dark line, but here A and D is an invisible line. So I will make this one as a dotted line. So now simply I have shifted the total top view here. Okay. After shifting the total top view, what is the procedure? You have to draw the final projectors, final projectors from the top view to the front view. So now I will draw it. So now this is the one. So now this is the projector one. I will come here. And this is the projector two. Okay, four. And this is two. And this is three. Okay, then next I will come with B. Right, and next I will come with C. Okay, C is on the projector. A is another projector and D is another projector. So, many number of projectors will come here. So, I will locate this A. Okay, and I will locate D also. Right? So, now this is projector 1, this is projector 4, this is projector D, this is projector A, middle 1, and this is projector 3, this is projector C, projector 2, projector B. Right? So, whatever the points are there in this top view, I have projected all the lines. Okay? I think you might see this. Okay. After that, we will go one by one. So, what are the steps? So, one projector is here and one point is here. So, now, I will draw a projector from this point up to 1. So, now I will locate 1. So, this is one point. Okay. Then next, what is our second point? Second point is here. So where is the second projector? Second projector is this one. So now I will project this point here. So this is 2. Let me take this one as 2 dash and this is 1 dash. Next, third point. Where is the third point? Third point is here itself. And where is the third, third line? Here, this one. So I will locate this point as 3. That is 3 dash. Okay. Then next, where is 4? 4 is on the same line of 1, so simply I will put this as 4 dash. Okay? Now I have taken the top surface, so this is the top surface, that is 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash and 4 dash. Right? Next, coming to the point of B, C, A, D. So where is A, where is B, where is B and where is C? So A, D lies on the same line and B, C lies on the same line. 
So now here this is A. So this middle line is A. So now I will project A line up to here because the A line is in the middle, exactly in the middle, right? So now this point is A and coming to point B, B is here. I will extend the line up to here. So now this point is B dash and this point is A dash. Okay. So now and what about the rest of the thing? B and C. Now simply I will project all the line, project the line. Where is B? B is here. Sorry, C. So B C. Sorry, B is here. A and B. Sorry, not this one. We go with A and this is one is B. So this is B dash. And next B dash. B dash is here. Okay. B dash is that. And what about C dash? So C dash is the third one, this point. So this point is C dash. Okay. Now I have drawn the point of intersection. I have drawn the point of intersection of 1, 2, 3, 4 and I have drawn the point of intersections of A, B, C and D. Now you have to confirm, now you have to confirm which points are visible and which points are invisible. So let us see, just simply you put on an arrow mark, so for your confirmation only, don't draw it in the on the sheet. So when you look, you imagine that you are looking from this side, you are looking from this side. So now when you look from this side, these points are visible. Okay, 4, D, 3, C are visible and also B is also visible. So which one are invisible? This 2, A, 1 are invisible. So now you have to draw, you have to draw the lines that is one base, so this side, so this side one, four light. So I will show it here. So now this is the first position. Let us take this is the first position. What we have done? One second. So I will change this one. So this is the first position. So this is the top view and this is the front view. This is the first position. And coming to the second position, I have made it inclined to the horizontal plane. Horizontal plane. Such that you can observe the same rectangular figure here, and when coming to the top view, you can observe this particular face and this face. Okay, this particular face and this face only the top view, and you can see the front view only one side, right? Only one side. That is the same rectangular face. And coming to the third one, when I make it inclined to the vertical plane, now I am rotating this one. Okay, rotating to the front. Already it is inclined here. Now I am rotating to the front. Then, which faces are visible to you? So, this face is visible as well as this face is visible, right? So, in the previous case, this face is not visible for you. And this case, so this is visible for you and this is visible for you. What is this face? So, this face is nothing but this particular face. That is 2, 3, DC is visible and this particular face is also visible. That is 1, 2, BC is also visible, right? So now let us see which one is visible and which one is invisible in the diagram. So right. So now this particular case 2, 3, B, C is visible here. So 2 dash, 3 dash, I will make this one dark. So now B, C is visible, 3, C is visible. Okay, and I will draw draw it here. Okay, as this uh, three line is crossed, so I, I get a difference in the diagram. Then next, which one is visible? Three C is visible. Okay, three four is visible. So right now I will draw a line three four. Okay, and four D is also visible. Right now I will draw a four D line. Okay, four D line is visible, and C. C, D is also visible here. So now C dash to D dash is also visible. Okay. Right. Then next A, this one, this point is also visible. 
P point is also visible. So this is behind the screen. So this one, this point. Okay, this is four, uh, four three, and this is DC, right? And you have to communicate this particular point. So now A dash and B dash is also visible, and B dash to A dash is also visible. So now which one is invisible for you? So now I am drawing a dotted line. So 1 to 2 dash is a dotted line which is invisible and 1 to A dash is also a visible line. Okay. So these are the uh, visible lines and these are the invisible lines. So first roughly I will erase some of the construction lines because it is dark. Okay, so you will look a very clear picture. So in the diagram you should not uh, delete or erase all these lines. So this all lines should be very light. I think uh, you got it. Clear picture. So face the face that is this side 4D C dash and B dash is visible. A B sorry A B C D is invisible that is bottom side. So this is the bottom side where you can see here like this. Okay, this side is visible. This side is also visible. What is this side? This side is nothing but 2, 3, C and B. And this is also visible in the bottom base. The bottom base is A B C D. Okay, so these are the visible things. So now, it is a total <coughs> orthographic projection of the solids where the axis is inclined to both the planes. Primarily, you have to take the axis parallel to both the planes and you have to make inclination with one of its plane and after getting the final, uh, that is top view, the top view axis are going to be inclined for the vertical plane with the file this whatever it may be right the inclination and draw the projectors from the final top view which you have made inclination and draw the projectors from the first the front view which is inclined so the combination of all the point of intersections will be the visible things whatever the visible that you have to draw in a dark lines and whatever invisible you have to draw in a dotted line. So this one is also a dotted line. Okay. So 4 1 is also dotted, 1 2 is dotted, 1 A is dotted and rest of these things will be in a dark. Okay. Thank you.